King of the Cage heads back to Black Bear Casino Resort in Carlton, Minnesota for Ultimate Collision, featuring two championship fights with four current champions. Daniel Hernandez puts his middleweight title on the line as heavyweight champion Tony Lopez comes way down in weight. Then flyweight champion Ruben Duran takes a challenge from junior flyweight titleist Derek Mandel, who wants to add the 135-pound belt to the 125-pound strap he already has. For the middleweight title bout, Madrid, who's 13-4, knocked out Daniel Hernandez to take the 185-pound title in October 2015, then submitted him in the rematch in March. Both were in the first round. Lopez, who's 43-23, has lost two of his last three, but none of those were in KOTC. His last fight in KOTC was in May, a split decision win over Nathan Bryant. It is puzzling that Lopez is taking this fight and that is a lot of weight to cut. That alone gives Madrid the advantage and he should try to get this to the mat. Our pick for this fight is Madrid. For the flyweight title bout of the night, Duran, who's 11-5-1, has won three in a row, including two unanimous decisions, although he fought just once in 2015. Mendel, who's 6-2, also fought once last year, but he has won twice in 2016 so far, both by stoppage. He scored a TKO win over John Duvall in January to win the belt, and that was his first knockout. It will be interesting to see if he can get any power moving up to 135 pounds, where Duran already has four knockouts to go with four submissions. It will be a very good fight, but Duran takes it. Our pick for this fight is Duran. For the catchweight bout, that's 165 pounds. Ellis, who's 1359, if nothing else, is game for a fight. But only four of his 72 fights have ended in a decision, and he has won once in his last 14 fights. Romero, who's 25 6, has won seven of his last eight, and the only question here is how long will it take to Romero for end this fight? Probably not that long. Our pick for this fight is Romero. For the welterweight bat of the night, Hummel, who's 1-1, has split his first two pro fights after going 4-5 as an amateur. And while he has fought under KOTC as an amateur, this is his first fight as a pro. Wyman, who's 0-0, is making his pro debut after going 3-4 as a pro, so this should be a fun fight as both have a lot to prove. Both are going to swing for the fences and could end in a lucky punch. Our pick for this fight is Hummel. Click over right now and check out all the odds on the board and make a few wagers on BetDSI.com.